So this is a follow-up video on the last time around when I tried to put an 88650 on my Tiny Hop 2. It didn't work and someone in the comment actually told me that you know if you go to the pit setting they actually set a 75% limit to your throttle. I did went into beta flight to check to see if that is true. It isn't because mine is set to 100 which basically nullify the effect of throttle management on beta flight. So I'm pretty sure I pushed that 18650 to the max and mine just can't take off. I have no idea why. But here I am doing some kind of Franken's, uh, Franken lipo design again. So what I did is this, this are your regular um, 1S 450mA, right? And of course I have modified it to the XT30 and if you are interested you should try it because yes it makes makes the whole thing heavier but it does makes it um, having less of that um, voltage stack so what i got was this this is a 1500 milliampere uh, 1s but it is basically ripped out of my old 4s which uh, was damaged so i soldered a xt30 to it i was like hmm this is a thousand five this is 450 this is a little bit heavier, lighter than an 18650 for sure. Will it fly on this um, Tiny Hop 2? Well, there's only one way to find out. Alright, to begin with, I taped on two of these rubber bands so that I can attach it to my Tiny Hop's frame because otherwise it's just too big for the battery tray. Alright, so it should go on like this and like this making sure it is not in the propeller's way oh, this is in the propeller's way so I'm gonna make sure it's not in the propeller's way please don't get in the propeller's way that'd be dumb alright uh, safety is off well let's plug it in to find out So I don't have the, uh, my analog goggles with me, I'm going to just fly this line of sight, hopefully it works well, let's go. Good sign, it's powering up, I think that is my arm switch, always the buzzer, alright, phew, so I thought something is wrong, well let's really hope nothing gets into the props way, actually didn't give this a check. Well, we're gonna find out now. <laughs> yeah, something is in definitely in the way of the prop. Okay, let's give it a check. This is where it is in the prop suite. See if it works. Um, this oh, wait, it works. Here we go. <laughs> this little thing cannot take the slightest weight. Gosh. Let's try again. Nope. One last try before I burn the ESC. I wish I could show you my throttle. I was pretty pumped. It's like almost 75%. I don't think I want to push it to 100% and burn some ESC, but okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a punch. If it lives, it lives. Uh, otherwise, that will be the end of this set story again. And we will be back to the drawing board. Here we go. Alright. Oh, it did lift for a while. Ah, see, that's the trick. I'm gonna punch it really hard. Let's try again. Nope. Did I not punch it hard enough? Right, last time. Ah. 
All right, new game plan. I'm just gonna punch it and all the way up and let's see how long it survives in the air. Here we go. Three, two, one. It just does not want to. Oh, wait, let me put it to stabilize mode and let's see if I can keep it in the air. Oh, not bad. No, it was me all along. Let's try that again. Let's not go to the back. Keep it in front. Oh, yay! Come back, come back. All right, get in the view. Oh, oh where are you going? It's going away. Hang on, let me get it back. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it flies really badly. But it flies. At about full, full throttle. Coming back, coming back. There we go. Well, I'm glad it's flying. Though, here's the problem, I have no idea. What's the LiPo doing now? Is it like dying? No idea. Can it go high up? I don't think so. Oh wait, it can. Well, I'm not going to push this further. Surprising. Oh, wow, wait, wait, it's warm, really, really warm. And the frame of this thing is plastic, so I'm not going to push it too much. But otherwise, well, yeah, test it, prove it works. Let's just disarm this thing. All right. Well, that was surprising. I wasn't expecting it to lift off at all, but in order to lift off, I have to change my habit of lifting off a cord. I basically punch it maybe like 90% and it'll lift off. I can drop a little after that and it will hover properly. I mean, not properly. It feels, you can feel the weight. You can feel like the moment you, you do your yaw, your roll whatsoever, there is a significant um, delay and lag to it but it is, it is in the air um, now I'm very curious to go back to the 18650 and see if it's because I didn't push my throttle hard enough or is it because it is just too heavy for this tiny little hawk in any way I'm really surprised and very happy with the tiny hawk too I mean this is my first quad after all these years, I mean years, no. <laughs> Overall, I'm very happy with this Tiny Hawk 2. I mean, this is my first quad, and I learned how to fly on this tiny little thing, and it still serves me really well till today. So yeah, maybe the next video I will put a 18650 back on, or there's uh, someone in the comments suggested that I should try the CR1238 Alpha. I think that is a very interesting idea as well, but I'm thinking maybe it is the 18650 that I'm using, which is in the Sony High Discharge, so it's kind of like limiting the output to the motors, maybe that is the problem. Well, let me know in the comment below, bye!